All right, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about a magical machine. Uh, I heard about it from an alien named James Tanton. Uh, at least he speaks with some strange accent. He's Australian, actually not alien, but close enough. Uh, yeah, and so he told me about this machine, uh, and it looks something like this, only it, it's, uh, it's infinitely long, but I'm too lazy to draw all of them. Uh, and there's a whole uh, family of machines like these. And this one is called a 2-1 machine, which you write like this, which I know sounds like you're saying it backwards, but that's how it goes. And uh, the way it works is you put some pebbles in this box right here. So when I put one pebble in, it looks something like that. You with me so far? And this, this last box, it goes infinitely far that way, but this is the last box. This is the special one. This is the only one where you can drop the pebbles in. Okay. And so we could say when we put one pebble in, it looks something like infinitely many zero boxes, and then there's a one box on the end like that. Okay. So then we can put a second pebble in. And you might think it's just going to look like infinitely many zeros and then a two, but what the fact is that it's a two one machine tells you is that whenever there's two pebbles in one box, they explode, which I'm going to represent with little red explodey effects like this. And they turn into one pebble in the next box over. So then one pebble magically appears here. This is why we need alien technology to make the boxes. I don't know, maybe that's a larger or heavier pebble or something because conservation of mass or something like that. So 2 looks like a whole bunch of zeros and a 1 and a 0. So then what's going to happen if I put a third pebble in my box? These two are exploded. The red outline means that they've poofed into a cloud of dust, which maybe makes a bigger, heavier pebble there. I don't know. And if you try to drop in five at one time, well, I don't know. We, maybe later we can get to that. So, I mean, yeah. I, I, right now we're just going to drop a third one in and watch carefully. So if I put a third pebble in this box, there's not two pebbles in any box, right? If there's two pebbles in a box, they explode, and I get one in the next box over. But if I drop a third one here, there's no box with two pebbles in it. So three pebbles looks like infinitely many zeros, and then a one one. Okay, so let's do a little bit of exploring and exploding. And maybe my first question will be, what does 27 look like? So as I keep counting and dropping uh, pebbles in here one at a time, eventually I'll have 27 pebbles having been dropped in. What will it look like in the end? So think about that for a couple of minutes. And those of you who are finding this you know, too basic, you can start wondering what other kinds of questions you might want to ask. <laughs>